Hey everyone, it's um, Monday, March 6th. It's uh, really late. It's almost midnight. <laughs> I just got back from my comics class. This is week three of the comics class, and it's really good. Um, today we presented our page by page breakdown of the script, meaning, like, this is what happens on each page, not getting into, like, panel descriptions or anything like that it's just sort of beat by beat making sure that the story flows i got a lot of really good input on mine seems like everybody liked the content of it but wanted more kind of dancing around it uh <laughs> in my story pitch it's um it's like 10 pages maybe 12 pages in I'm basically talking about becoming a dad, why I decided to become a dad, kind of why it took so long for me to become a dad. It's not something, because I wasn't afraid to have kids. That was never the problem. Uh, I was sort of afraid to pass on the things I didn't like about myself. And uh, even in then, it's not... Being afraid is not really the right description for it. <laughs> it's more like, I knew I have issues. <laughs> I know that I have issues. Uh, and I don't want, if I can't deal with them, I can't expect my kids to. The last 10 years have really been me working hard to be a better man, to get to the point where I felt like, all right, when I bring a kid in the world, I may still have some issues. But... I'm at least aware of them, and I'm working on them. <laughs> this kid's got a good chance. Anyways, so that's sort of the story, is um, is that. Is my journey to becoming ready to be a den. And in my pitch, it was pretty wisely pointed out that I didn't really show enough of what it was like before. Like, why, why wasn't I ready before? Uh... And so I've kind of got, I got to go back to the drawing board or writing board. What is it when you're writing scripts? A keyboard, I guess. <laughs> I tend to write my scripts, at least the first draft, I tend to write them longhand. I don't know why it's easier for me to do that than trying to type. I guess typing is too easy to edit. So I'm just tempted to go back where writing, I might scratch out a line, but I'm not going to erase it and rewrite it. So I just usually scratch it out, write the next line. But that way I can at least go back and like look at my edits. That was good feedback. I liked it. And then the other stories in class are sounding pretty good too. My friend Denaro, who's taking this class with me, his story is awesome. <laughs> um, I, I hope he finishes it. I'm going to kick his butt if he doesn't. Um, but if he finishes it and he like actually prints it up, I'm definitely going to pimp it out and tell you guys to go buy it because uh, – He's really good. <laughs> I only met him, I don't know how long ago it was that I met him. It was at CTN maybe this year or the year before. I don't remember. But um, he moved out here out of the blue. <laughs> he quit quit art school in Boston, moved out here to go on an adventure. And uh, it seems to be really working out for him. Uh, but I remember sitting him down. Cause he he draws so good. You gotta follow him on Instagram. You can find Denaro on Instagram at D N Y R O. And he's I mean he's got room to grow. We all do, but he's getting better and better. Uh, and when I was flipping through his sketchbooks, I was like, dude, you need to write some comics. And he's like, I don't know about comics. <laughs> and I was like, you should write comics. And so I kind of talked him into it. <laughs> he's still developing as an artist. I mean he's. I see the potential there. I think he's going to do really, really well. I, I Whenever I meet an artist, I think about, okay, here's where they are at now. What are they, what is their work ethic? And that usually translates into what they're going to look like 10 years from now. This guy works hard. I mean, he fills up a sketchbook like every two or three weeks. <laughs> I'm totally envious. And so I think, I suspect 10 years from now, it's, he's going to be blowing people away. But he really gets it because it's 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 one thing to tell a story. It's another to tell a story that like has some sort of meaning behind it. 
it's something that I've fallen short on myself. It's, it's, it's almost easier to teach somebody else to do it than it is to do it yourself. But that's kind of why I'm glad that I have him in class with me so that I can sort of see what he's doing. And I'm like, okay, 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 I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> and I love the feedback that Jim gives because he's, like I said in the first week's videos, he's really, he's a really patient teacher. Um, I get flustered really easy when I'm, when I'm being vulnerable. Like when I'm making these videos, I have to do them alone. Like... <laughs> My wife can't even be in the room. I, I usually have to like close the door. And I'm like, all right, honey, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna talk because when I get when I get when I open up, I get vulnerable. I feel vulnerable, and I get really flustered if you know other people are watching, which is weird because like when I'm in a really big group setting, I don't mind being open and vulnerable. It's just like that one-on-one -on -one intimacy, and then and so like when I'm writing a story. It's, it's so raw to me because I haven't done it enough. You know, if you ask me to go do characters in public or, uh, you know, sketch people and have like a crowd of people watching behind me, I have no problem with that because I've done, you know, I've got thousands of hours of that. But actually writing stories, putting my thoughts on paper, translating them into pages, following through and actually finishing it, that's, I haven't done enough of that. I haven't done enough. I've drawn lots of comic pages, but that's not the same thing. When you're working off a script, you can kind of turn your brain off. You just, you know, it, it's sort of a workman-like mentality where you just, all right, this is what goes on this page. This is what goes on this page. How do I make it funny? How do I make it exciting? How do I make it entertaining? So yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have Jim as a teacher. And a couple of you asked if uh, asked me to interview Jim, and I'll, I'll see if I can make that happen because I think he'd make a great interview, and I think he'd be excited about it. He, by the way, his website is newsuit.net. Last week I mentioned his website, and I think I called it newsuit.com, which might be a porn site. I'm not sure. <laughs> so that was a bad bet. Okay, that's it for tonight. I appreciate everybody watching, and... Keep smiling. I'll see you tomorrow.